And today the theme is God's nature and grace can give people greater faith and strength to be used by God. Now some people might think that uh, when we talk about God's nature and grace it's just to comfort people. It's not just to comfort people. Uh, it can give us greater strength, greater faith and confidence to serve God with more power, with more uh, uh, expansion in God's kingdom, to bless more people, to have faith in God's power and His uh, blessing in our ministry. So uh, it's biblical, it's biblical that because that's how the Bible motivates us. So we'll look at these passages and see how God motivates us with uh, how He most motivates us to, to have greater faith, to do greater things for God by God's nature and grace. At the same time, uh, please remember that when we teach that, we motivate people with God's nature and grace. At the same time, we also remind them of the law that the Bible tells us what to do. The Bible does tell us what to do and give us warning if we don't obey God. Uh, but this should be secondary. The main motivation should be God's grace and His nature because uh, people should be saying, wow, well, God is so good to us. God is full of blessings. God is full of power. So I want to serve Him and obey, and obey Him. So uh, here we talk about how God's nature and grace can give us and give people greater faith and strength to be used by God. Okay. So God's grace also, also motivates us to have confidence to do greater things for God. God's grace does not just motivate us to trust in God and have Okay, let me go back to this slide that what we talk about today is God's nature and grace can give people greater faith uh, and strength to be used by God. And God's grace motivates us to have confidence to do greater things for God. God's grace does not just motivate us to trust in God and have strength uh, from God. It also motivates us to believe in God's promise promises and authority and power to do greater things for God. So when we trust in God's nature and His grace, we'll have greater strength and power and confidence to do greater things for God. So God's grace can raise up more courageous servants of God. So it will raise up people who are courageous to serve God. Okay, so what can we talk about God's nature from a Bible passage? So this is a reminder. So from a certain Bible passage, what can we look for? Uh, sometimes it's already, uh, it's already spoken there in the passage, these four points. Sometimes it's implied that we have to look through the whole Bible to find these uh, four areas from each passage. First, discover God's nature, grace, and law in that passage. So. What does it say about God's nature, His love, His power, His authority, His willingness, His heart, His concern for us, His acceptance of us, His grace, how He helps us, He accepts us, He loves us, He blesses us, He wants to raise us up to a high level. And law, uh, what does the Bible tell us what to do? Now some passages does not talk about God's nature and grace uh, directly. And we can, uh, sometimes the Bible passage talk about negative qualities. For instance, it can talk about the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And so what is the opposite? The opposite is that God will give us abundant life. God will give us everything we need, all the potential we need so that we can be used by God. So God, so uh, even when a passage does not talk about, uh, you know, all the, uh, God's nature clearly, directly, as it, we can find out from the warning, uh, for instance, the warning that the, uh, the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy, and the opposite is that God will come to restore and to bless and to give us all things. So that is the opposite of the negative warnings. 
And so first is God's nature. Second is God wants to give us His nature. For instance, His love, His joy, His peace, His wisdom, His motivation, His power, His wonderful plan, and His provision, and so on. So He wants to give us His nature and His grace. And three, how we can live out God's nature. So it's very important how. How, how can we live out God's plan? How can we live out God's nature and, and glorify God? And then four, God is pleased with us and will reward, will reward, reward us when we live out God's nature. So, so He motivates us by saying that He's pleased with us and He will reward us and bless us. So these four points for uh, any passage we can look for when we do Bible study, first is that to discover God's nature and grace and law in a passage, and then how God wants to give us His nature. And then three, how we can live out God's nature, how we can live out uh, showing God's love and joy and peace, uh, living out His nature so that people can see God is living in us. And then, excuse me, and then four, God is pleased with us and He will reward us and bless us when we okay, God is pleased with us and He will reward us when we live out His nature and follow Him and obey Him.